Welcome to the part 2 of link 4 of our robotic arm guys. In this video we will be completing the link 4 of our robotic arm. So let's begin. This is where we were in our, the part 1. I will provide the link in the description. This video is going to be a little bit faster guys. Because I believe that if you have watched the previous videos. Your modeling speed will definitely get increased. So here make two, make two center line for the reference guys and here this is the midpoint line. Select this line and make it as vertical. Now select smart dimensioning tool. Specify the length of this line first. This is 34. And now select these two lines and specify the distance between them. This is 16. And now I want to mirror the same line about the reference vertical lines so we can do it like this and now I would like to select the three point arc and make a three point arc like this and now specify the radius of this arc after specifying the radius of this arc I would like to mirror it so select mirror entities and mirror about this horizontal reference line so that's why i make these reference line guys just to mirror it select extruded boss base after completing the sketch and here specify the length of extrusion as 100 millimeter check this box from here now select this surface click on sketch and make a circle now definitely specify the diameter of this circle 62 and extrude it up to 10 millimeter check this box from here and now select this face again and click on sketch and make a circle at this region one more time and specify the diameter by selecting these two circles and here specify the distance as one millimeter right the distance between these two circles one millimeter now go to feature select extruded boss and here I would like to specify the length of extrusion as 11 millimeter. Check this box from here. And now I want to make a plane. So here select plane from the reference geometry, select this edge and this edge. These two edges. Right guys? This is the first edge, this is the second edge. Check this box from here and just elongate this plane click on this plane and click on sketch and here make a plane first you need to trace the midpoint it would be a yellow dot make a circle there and specify the diameter of this circle and then go to features and extrude boss base here i want to extrude it in both directions First, specify the length of extrusion and I want to extrude it in both direction. For that, we have to select this mid plane. Now, it's going to be extruded in both direction and here we have it. Now, select the inner face of this circle that we have extruded and click on sketch. I'm going to make a sketch here. So, select a line. Trace the center point and make a vertical straight line. Select this line definitely i want this to be vertical and construction geometry because this is for reference and make a line like this vertical line press escape button select the control button and these three points and make it as symmetric specify the length of this line as 30 I want to mirror the same vertical line on the other side so select this line and mirror about this vertical line and now I have to specify the distance between these two vertical lines as 20 the length of other line would automatically be settled down specify your three-point arc and specify the radius of this three-point arc you can slow down the speed I am just I'm really sorry the speed is just getting increased so you can slow down the 
speed from the settings of the YouTube if it's getting problematic for you since this is in both direction I want this to be in one direction so select it blind here specify 55 as the length of extrusion just check this box from here and select this face and click on sketch um, make a circle at this origin and specify the diameter of this origin I want to cut a hole here guys basically so 30 millimeters the diameter and I want to cut it up to 20 millimeter check this box from here and here we have the hole now I want to make the same hole here as well let's hide this plane so select this circle and click on sketch definitely make a circle here trace the midpoint like this when you hover the mouse around the circumference it gives you the midpoint and here specify the depth of extrusion and here we have it now let's specify any color you like so this is the link 4 of the robotic arm that we are going to model i will provide the whole playlist link in the description and in the next video we are going to assemble it